guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I know I started it off a little bit, a little bit extra. I got the brows, I got the lashes on, but that's because today's video, obviously you guys already know by the title, I'd be so extra, but because of today's video is the review and wear test of the new Elf Camo CC, C, oh my gosh, the new Elf Camo CC Cream Foundation. And this just, let's read some things about it. Ditch your basic foundation. This color correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve a natural looking complexion, but with full coverage. A multitasking, multitasking cream, oh my gosh, a multitasking dream cream infused with collagen, pepti collagen peptides and niacinamide known to plump, hydrate, and smooth the appearance of your skin while, put, while put, oh my goodness, while a protecting for, with SPF 30. <laughs> Y'all promise I know how to read. I promise I can read. Anyways, I'm kind of nervous because y'all know how I am with SPF 30. I did a color match on their website and I matched and I put my perfect shade for the L'Oreal uh, infallible foundation in. And so this is the color that it matched me with. I have light golden 240. This is light with warm golden undertones. So I have light 240. In case in case you're similar to me or you're just like a shade up or a shade below, just for color reference. So for color, and this is just what the packaging looks like, has the little tube. This reminds me a lot, like the packaging reminds me a lot of my Mary Kay CC cream. And so let's just go ahead and go right in with it. I'm gonna do pumps on the back of my hand like always. Oh, that might be a perfect shade match. I like how it shoots out because it doesn't get the nozzle all dirty like some stuff. Thank goodness. I literally got this in the mail today, which today is the 15th. I got it in the mail this morning and I was gonna go ahead and just like film and just forget everything else that I had planned today, but I was like, no, I really need to edit and get that video up. So that's what I did first. And it is currently 12, 12 p.m. So let's just go ahead and start applying this. Okay, this looks a little light. Well, I guess, I guess it matches my neck perfectly. Y'all don't mind this, Brian, be childish. Don't mind that right there. At least you're married though. <laughs> Y'all, this coverage, oh. I love the coverage already, sorry y'all. I got excited. And if you don't know, let me tell you a little bit about my skin. I have ac I have acne, not acne, how should I say this? I get breakouts, I have freckles, I also have acne scars, and I have a lot of texture from acne scars, as well as I have a lot of texture just going on right now, I don't know why. But um, I have some texture going on right now. And this is sitting perfectly. And now I did prime my face with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer and this e.l.f. Facial Oil Mist is what I primed my face with. And that's all I have on that I use to prime because I wanna give it a fair shot. And I was like, you know, let's just go ahead and keep it e.l.f. Wow, did y'all see how it covered up that little acne scab that I have right there? Cause I popped a pimple yesterday. Y'all, this coverage is amazing. Like, I'm gonna scoop myself up so that way it doesn't change the pixelation and quality. Oh, but look at this coverage, you guys. How stinking good is this coverage? And like I said, I think I did like two or three pumps and that was for all over my face. Oh, also using the e.l.f. sponge. Cause like I said, let's keep it e.l.f. And that color match was perfect. So if you're scared to try the color match thing on Elf's website, go ahead and do it and trust it. Because like I said, I put 
the shade that is my perfect shade for the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And then it matched me to this one, which is what I chose on my own. Like just reading it and looking at the swatches online, I was already going to choose this one. But just to be sure, because of what happened with the Ordinary Foundation, I went ahead and color matched myself online and it was perfect. And this is only a $14 foundation, uh, CC cream, which is getting a little bit up there. But if you really pay attention to drugstore prices, everything's getting a little bit up there these days. So yeah, I'm going to continue to use e.l.f. products and I'll show you guys, but I'm going to speed through me doing the rest of my makeup. So I'll show you guys like the camera, like what I'm putting on. And if you're wondering about my lashes, they are from Sugared Cosmetics and these are her, <sighs> y'all, I don't, Snack is the style. I told y'all I don't ever be remembering the names of stuff, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the time lapse of me finishing up my makeup since it's all about the CC cream anyways. you guys this is how it all came out y'all your girl looks good like real good like it does look a little bit matte in this area but that could just be my peach fuzz that i need to shave but y'all like it looks so good obviously i'll do more videos where i'm not trying only elf products with it but I thought it'd be fun to only do e.l.f. products. So what we are going to do now is the video ain't over yet. <laughs> but anyways, that was real ugly. But anyways, <laughs> we are going to go ahead and do a wear test. So it is currently 1227. So I will be checking in with you guys every two hours. So I'm going to try to do a nine to 10 hour wear test, which means I won't be able to take my makeup off till 1030. So I'm going to try to wait till 10.30, but more than likely it's coming off right at 10 or 9.30, so we will see. We're gonna try though to do, and the cool thing is about this though is that it doesn't have like some dramatic long claim of how long it lasts like their camo concealer does, you know, so I think it's gonna be fun. We are going to the gym today, so you guys will see me getting all sweaty and nasty. Well, you won't see me doing it, but it'll happen. You'll get the check-in afterwards because I'll be picking up, you know, you guys will hear from me at 2.30 whenever I'm picking up Ethan. And then 4.30 while we're at the gym just starting our workout. 6.30, which is right after my workout. 8.30, which is when we're winding down. And then 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock. 
so yeah let's go ahead and get into you know i'm just gonna go about my day and then we will check in at 2 30. all right you guys so when i picked up ethan i kind of fell asleep but this is the check-in about three hours in it is a little bit more matte than i thought and about two hours in i could smell the sun the spf in this really really bad right now it's not too bad but yeah this is two hours check-in looking good i'm about to get dressed for the gym and start getting ready but yeah time to you know just wait the next check-in hey guys so this is our six hour check-in point i'm so sorry this thing turned in from a two hour check-in to every three hours but this is what we're looking like it's a little bit creasy right here because like i said it's dry and i did have to put on my mask when brian went to the barber shop so it is not mask proof but it still looks really really good just like whenever i put it on my blush is faded bronzer is faded everything is faded but i'm missing a little bit right here on my nose probably from my mask but mouth area and things like that it looks fine just a little bit creasy because it is a little bit more matte one thing i do appreciate though is that i usually crease it really bad right here and that's not happening so yeah so far still so good really really matte so i think it really depends on the primers you're using so we shall see what i look like after this workout that's currently what we're about to do so yeah see you guys at 10 o'clock for check-in number three no. i hope not like that. <laughs> all right you guys this is the last check-in of the night I have officially had this on for almost 11 hours. So, this is what the makeup looks like. Like I said, you like this foundation. You are so distracting on my foundation check. You better quit. Who are you trying to look good for? They can't see me. But they, so? Okay, so? Fight me. Anyway, this is the last check-in of the night. It's almost all the way off of my nose, and I haven't put on my mask again since, so there's that. It looks a little bit dry, maybe with different... I'll keep trying it out, even though I don't like the scent of it, but yeah, it's a little bit dry. I probably need to try some more hydrating primers with it, because all I used was the Jelly Pop and the Facial Oil Mist, so I'll keep trying it out for you guys, but... This is your 11 hour wear test. I think it held up pretty good. Like the coverage held up pretty good. Nothing's falling apart. Like I have a little bit of dew showing through, but it, it's so weird. Like it looks dewy, but up close it looks dry. And like I can feel that there's no like moisture. So if you're oily, you're gonna love this. I'm looking forward to them coming out with a camo hydrating CC cream. I might like that one more. But again, hopefully they work on the scent of that SPF as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this check-in. If you want to see more, like I said, in the foundations, just comment that down below. All right, guys, peace. Okay, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to keep doing my best to purchase new drugstore found drug store foundations that come out please go ahead and let me know down below or just any drugstore foundation at this point let me know if you'd like to see a wear test on any of them maybe some of them that you've been um eyeballing like i said i have normal to dry skin and i have texture and all that kind of stuff and stuff to cover up i have a lot of freckles which this foundation actually did cover up so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.